All right, so we got Lawrence Wallace here. Just a random YouTube clip that I found, but I found that the topic or the actual title is um, interesting. It's titled, The One Regret from High School That I Still Think About All These Years Later. Let's see what he has to say. Part of my junior year and part of my, in all of my senior year, I was attending high school on a base in Japan. Oh, interesting. While I was there, um, I met this woman, this girl, got to know her through her brother and she was a you know a big girl and everything she got a job in the nco club where i was washing dishes she was busting tables and we flirted all the time and we talked and laughed and cut off we really, we really had a lot of chemistry but i was just a shy fat sit face i mean no, no self-esteem at all gonna pause it right there i'm pretty confident he fell in love with her <laughs> And just going by what he said then, like I have memories of being in high school as well and just uh, being covered in, you know, an extra mental amount of pimples and acne from head to toe. And like fortunately enough, um, you know, I went through treatment for uh, on a medication called Roaccutane and that actually helped me within nine months. And it's funny how it does really change a lot of your, um, your personality overall to be able to cope um, with confidence, um, even though you, even to this day we'll still fight with that confidence. Anyway, we'll see how we go. And, um, and, and I never did anything about it. And one night I was at the movie theater and I saw her in, in a distance in the other part of the parking lot walking in to go, go go see the same movie and she was by herself. You like the courage. I, you know, I went and sat, I was sitting, I got one in the theater mm. and, I, and I sat, I saw where she was sitting Cause it was just like the big knee on the side. Come sit with me, so you know, huh. you know. And I didn't do it. I sat there, more, you know, just too shy and too mm-hmm. insecure. I was rooted in this, in, rooted in this chair, seated in the theater. I watched the movie, went home, didn't would've think thought, any more about it. Would have thought about it for a long time. Clearly, you know, after that event, was, I was used to doing crap like that. You know, the one just, chance you didn't take, unfortunately. I was, you know, I, I, I my, my teenage years are terrible. Well, the next time I saw her at the, at the NCO club, I asked her if she enjoyed the movie. She said it sucked. And, <laughs> I know. She, she came in, you know, she was throwing trays around and slamming things, and she was pretty angry. And finally, she, you know, she came back a little later after she calmed down. After she calmed down, she said, you know, guys are supposed to make the first move. And that was the end of that. So anyway, I'm 63 years old, and I still think about her, and I still think about that night. 62 years old and still thinks about that one incident. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Poor bugger. Making the assumption here, you must might probably grew up, um, you know, uh, lonely from that point, and maybe her response had affected him in such a way that he was unable to, you know, good advice from her. The guys are supposed to make the first move, but at the same time, like if she kind of feels something as well, if another person feels it, then why don't you just make the move also? Different world now, clearly. But back then, it was more chivalrous for a male to, I guess, uh, make the first move. Yeah, I guess the takeaway from this is that, you know, if you're faced with a situation like that, don't don't hesitate. Take that chance. I didn't create many opportunities like that myself back in high school. Like, as I said, you're, you're too busy worried about how people are going to view you externally rather than seeing the qualities you have internally. <laughs> you know, because... <laughs> You just say when you're covered in this and you're a fat kid, but I had a high school reunion many years later only to find that there were some individuals there that did um, have, they took an interest in me and part of me was like, damn it, that was really um, unfortunate that I didn't uh, take advantage of the situation or, or learn from it because yeah, it was many years even after high school, probably my early 20s when I first uh, felt love. Let's be honest, that's how, that's that was, you know, maybe... You know, some people that find it when in their teenage years are fortunate to experience it, even if they do end up brokenhearted. But at the same time, you you know, it's all a learning curve. You know, it's all it's all part of the learning process of growing up, isn't it? But if you're going to hold yourself back, unfortunately, like this gentleman has possibly for the past 60 years of his life to hold on to that one regret, then holding on to that regret may have blinded him to other opportunities with other females that have come through his life. So. Um, let's hopefully take something from that and yeah, let's, uh, hopefully we don't 
suffer the same consequence in the future.